my gosh, what a way to start the new year. Happy New Year's Eve for us. It's a new year for you. Happy New Year, everybody. I wanted to show you something. I made a video a long time ago for the kids of like me in front of a green screen, like pointing to things and whatever. And I hadn't shown it to them in a long time. And I showed it to the babies this morning and Maisie flipped out. It was so cute. So I want to show it to you. Everyone, let's jump because. really high. Jump, jump, huh? jump, jump, jump. Here we go. Okay, she didn't do it just now, but earlier this morning, every time that started, like the beginning of the video started, she would literally be like, oh, wow, yay, wow. She was like freaking out. She ended up reacting to it all big and excited later in the night. So here's that footage. Jump. Jump. Okay, we have to jump. Very high. Very high. Okay, everyone, let's jump really high. Jump. 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 Here we go. Wow. I made them little noisemakers last night. I wonder if they will enjoy them. Let's see. This is the first one. Wow. Wesley's excited. Get it. Shaky, shaky. Wesley, do you want one? This is a plate. Wesley. Wow. Oh, Maisie's got them all, Wes. This one's not as exciting looking. It just looks like a present. And then we have one tiny one. It's like a corn outside. This is not as exciting. Come try these. Come here, buddy. Shaky, shaky. The shaky, shakies. Yay! Go shaky, shaky. Go shaky, shakies. What's about this one? The shaky, shaky. He just wants to hold it by the string. We decided to come to my parents' house to celebrate, and uh, Flynn has told me he's gonna make chocolate milk. Okay, Where's Flynn. The chocolate? How does it work? From this. Okay, and what's in here right now? Milk. Okay, and then what? Put it in. Okay, how much? Just a little bit? Yeah, a lot. Oh, a lot. I think that's enough. That's enough. Whoa, that's so much. Put it on the lid. Now what? Oh, there it goes. It's going slowly. Which? Oh! <gasps> oh my god. Goodness, how did you know how to do that? And that is so awesome. Let's turn it off. Not ready yet. Oh, it's not? <laughs> is that your chocolate milk dance? It takes four minutes. Wow, that's a lot of minutes. Is it done? Nope. How many more? 45. 45 more minutes? Yes. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Oops. Oh, oopsie doops. Just a little spill. We can clean that up, right? Yeah. Throw this away. Here go? Yeah. Throw this in the trash. Look at that delicious concoction. Can I taste this one? Yes. Mmm, chocolatey. Let's put in the chocolate first and then the milk. The milk. So, chocolate first. Okay, so when the clock strikes midnight, uh, we're going to celebrate New Year's Eve, huh? Yeah. So I asked you what you want to drink. Most people have like champagne or a sparkling cider. You told me you wanted apple juice, remember? Yeah. Well, I got you something very special. What is it? Do you want to see? Close your eyes. <laughs> I want to open my eyes when it's here. It's here. Ooh. Who is that? DJ Catnip. DJ Catnip. They had an apple juice. That was DJ Catnip. We're gonna drink it at the at the New Year's Eve party. It's almost time. Look, it's almost dark. And that's when you drink it. Yeah. Easy's living for this shaker now. Shakey, shakey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Is it funny? Oh no, Maisie. Oh no. <laughs> 
Is that funny? You stole my camera, is that funny? Hey, it's almost time. So I gotta pop this. We're having very fancy sparkling cider. Flint's having apple juice. Everybody a tiny little sip. Okay, we've got our drinks. It's time to count down pretty soon. Say happy new year. <laughs> we just counted down. <laughs> and sang and cheers and everything and I wasn't filming any of it. And that's how 2023 starts. <laughs> Wesley wants my apple cider. You want a sip? <laughs> so yeah, we counted down and the camera was open and looks like it was on, but I did not push record. Yeah, mommy's silly, huh? Do you wanna do you wanna count down again or are you done? I'm done. Do you just wanna do some poppers outside? Because now you have to go outside and scream happy new year. That's the next part. So yeah, we did count down though. It was very cute and very fun. And y'all missed it. Sorry, my fault. Do you wanna try some more? <laughs> you want some more? You want some more? Maisie goes, nah, nah. All right. Happy New Year at 5.30 p.m. Fireworks in the rain. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We were doing these with Maisie earlier too and she loved it. Was that crazy? Is it raining outside, Wes? Is this crazy? What? One, Wes, are you ready? ready? Two, two, three. three. Wesley's like, what is going on? It is raining, why are we outside? This is insanity. Yeah, we'll get Maisie. You don't like to be outside when it's raining, huh? We'll get Maisie. Happy okay. New Year! Here it goes. Yay! You ready? Yay! Happy New Year! Yay! Okay, Flynn, are you gonna do another popper for Maisie? Two! Two poppers, let's see. What am I doing with my evening? Laundry. Because all I ever do is laundry. I hate laundry. Meow. What are you screaming? Is the brain scaring me? What's wrong? All right, I'm gonna fold laundry. I'm gonna wash my bed sheets. And what a, an eventful evening. Eric and I were gonna go out tonight, but then we we're like, that sounds exhausting. Let's just stay home. Why are you screaming at me? Why are you screaming? What's wrong? Okay. I think she doesn't like all the rain or something. I don't know. Okay, bye. Guys, I ordered something a while ago and I just got it and I'm so freaking excited. It's a tortilla blanket hoodie, like oversized hoodie blanket. So it's like a blanket slash hoodie. Isn't that amazing? Is that real? I saw this online when I was getting, I got Kari a Christmas present because I wanted to get him one of these. And this was one of the designs and I was like, okay, I literally have to. This is incredible. This is the best purchase I've ever made in my life. I am extremely happy about this. Had to share. Isn't that exciting? Okay, Eric and I just made a delicious charcuterie board moment for dinner. It was really lovely. I know these curtains are really ugly. I'm getting them changed eventually. We just haven't done anything to our bedroom yet. Anyway, I have something really embarrassing to admit. Hold on, let me turn off my sound machine. Okay, so most people will probably find this extremely embarrassing, but you know what? I'm proud and I'm not going to be ashamed and hide it. I am a Disney adult, okay? We know this, but like, I don't really ever shout it from the rooftops. I think that being a Disney adult is very strongly made fun of on the internet. Just like being, it reminds me of like being made fun of for being a theater kid when I was younger. Maybe people still make fun of theater kids. I don't know. I feel like it's cooler now than when I was in school. I feel like because of like when Glee came out and then musicals started doing movie musicals, high school musical, like that started like trends of like, it's kind of cool to sing and dance and like perform, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, it wasn't cool. And you were made fun of if you were a theater kid back in my day. And now I feel like Disney adults are made fun of heavily on the internet. And I'm taking my family to Disneyland for Christmas. That's my big gift to my brother and sister-in-law and their children and so obviously like the Disney adult that I am I had to prepare an outfit and like get something so normally I just wear like some sort of Disney ish themed shirt sometimes I don't but I'm gonna show you guys my very embarrassing Disney adult outfit that I bought I might not wear it but we'll see okay so the safe option and probably the one I'm gonna go with is just like jeans and this like crop top long sleeve shirt because it's gonna be cold so this is probably what I'm gonna end up wearing because I'll get I'll chicken out of the outfit that I actually want to wear but what I want to wear is this skirt because it is so Minnie Mouse, it is so Mickey Mouse with like this like Henley little shirt underneath 
and then tights with not black tights just nude color tights with like little frilly socks and black boots so normally you wear like disney ears you know what i mean like the disney i have a million pair of those but they hurt my head like the disney headbands so i got this beanie <gasps> I'm so excited. And then I got this backpack, this Minnie Mouse backpack. So honestly, I probably won't wear any of that, but like, it's a thought that counts. Wouldn't that be so cute? And then Eric didn't know I was buying an outfit, so he actually bought us matching shirts. So I also, this is another option, is wearing this and like tucking it into a shirt or something. I know no one else on the planet like cares what they wear when they go to Disneyland or thinks about it, but like, I love Disneyland so much, you guys. And then Flynn, I got him a little Mickey Mouse outfit too. And then I thought it was gonna rain, now it's not. So I got him this rain jacket. But now it's not gonna rain, so we're probably not gonna bring it. But how cute is this rain jacket? Hello. I'm so excited. Happy New Year, everybody. It's officially New Year's Day. It's January 1st. And I am just so excited to start 2023. I've never been a New Year's resolution type of lady. It's never been my thing. I've never been like, this year I'm going to be working out every single day. I'm going to finally um, finish that thing that I started. Like, I've never done that. I've always, like, my personality type has always been like, if I want to do something, if I think I want to do something, I, like, try to do it immediately. You know what I mean? I don't like wait until the new year to do it. But now as a grown adult woman with children, I'm like, oh, I understand the point of new year's resolutions because now when I think, oh, I want to do this thing or there's this goal that I have, I don't have time to do it because I'm too busy being a mom and trying to survive and not drown. So now I understand the concept and awesomeness of a new year's resolution, of a goal, of something to like get you inspired to like better your life at the beginning of a brand new year. It's a fresh start. So I get it now. That being said, my new year's resolutions are pretty broad and pretty general. But number one is to be a better mom, spend more time with my kids, make more memories with them. Like that is my number one goal is to be the best mom that I can be. Number two is not to be afraid of things in my career. So I used to be like, hmm, I think I want to write a TV show. And then I worked really, really hard for many, many years, but I made it happen. Um, I want to write a book. I want to go on tour. I want to do like, I would just think I want to do this. And I was kind of delusional and completely out of my mind and thought I could do things that I had no place thinking that I could do. But then I worked my butt off and I made them happen. And now I feel like I'm so full of insecurities. Not that I wasn't before, but now I feel like there's way more insecurities than there ever was before. And now I think I think these things like, oh, I really want to do this. I really want to write this book or write this TV show or make this project happen or do this with this person. And, and I think these things in my head and then I am I'm like, no, but no one would want that. I couldn't do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I, that has kind of like plagued me over the last few years. And I really am hoping that this year I can go into it going like, no, if I have this idea in my head, I'm going to do it. Like I want to make it happen. I'm going to do it. So I might start saying things out loud to you guys because then I know you will hold me accountable because you always do. And if I say like, hey, I'm going to be working on this, maybe you guys will be like, hey, you said you're going to be working on this. And um, maybe then I will do it. So basically my New Year's resolutions or my goals for this year are one, to spend way more time with my kids and be a better mom. And two, really um, make those career dreams and goals happen when they come up in my mind. Now, I already feel like I'm drowning and cannot stay afloat trying to keep my career going and also be a good mom. So the fact that my New Year's resolution are to add more to those plates that are already crashing and burning is a horrible idea and I'm definitely going to end up being very disappointed in myself and crying a lot more but uh, I was surprised but no I'm not going to say that I'm not gonna put that into the world and put that into existence you know like I'm not gonna fail I'm gonna do it I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna achieve new exciting fun things in my career and I'm gonna be a cake booty mama that's what I'm gonna do I also really need to yawn <sighs> My goal this week, I'm saying this out loud, my goal this week is to post a reel or a TikTok or a YouTube short every single day for one week as Miranda. And that is a doesn't seem like a lot. A lot of you might be like, okay, that's like a 30 to 60 second video once a day. Like, ooh, that's so hard. Get a life. For me to come up with the content, to film it, to edit it, do different takes, to get it posted actually takes a lot more brain power and effort and time and energy than it used to for me. I used to be able to do that stuff and film like 20 videos in a day. And now if I film like one video for my main channel or for the Miranda channel a month, I'm like, holy smokes, I can't believe I did that. So my goal is to get a reel or a TikTok or a short up every single day of Miranda and I'm hoping that even just doing those little videos every single day will get me inspired and excited to do Miranda more often and I can start really busting out some fun Miranda projects. There's lots of ideas floating around this noggin for that little lady because I, I genuinely love doing Miranda and I have always really really loved making people laugh and performing as Miranda and doing things that it's just it's always been very fun for me and I miss it so that's my goal for this week. So I'm gonna try to film a quick TikTok right now before I go hang out with my kids for the rest of the day. That's the plan. Oh my god, that was long-winded. Okay, 
I filmed a couple little things, but I gotta go. So hopefully I can get one of those videos up today because it's the first. So today would be the first day of my little challenge for myself, but I have to edit it and um, I need to go hang out with my kids before nap time. Ow, this clip is stuck in my hair. Ow, there we go. Let me take off my lipstick and go hang out with my kids. Obviously it's much later in the day. I spent most of the day with my kiddos. I spent some time with my parents. Oh, is that your hat? What's your hat? Is that your hat? Ah. Where's Wesley? Oh. Big boys! <laughs> Where's Wesley? Where's Wesley? Where's Wesley? Hi, you jealous? Baby. Baby. Wesley, what are you doing? Wesley, what are you doing? What are you doing? You reading a book? What's your book say? Is that a good book, Maisie? Where's Maisie? Where's Maisie? Big boy. Oh, where's Maisie? Where's Maisie? Where's Maisie? Where'd she go? <gasps> Peekaboo! Oh, where's Maisie? <laughs> Maisie? Peekaboo! Where's Maisie Joe? Where's Maisie? Peekaboo! Where's Maisie? Oh, Peekaboo! <laughs> the way that Wesley says, uh oh, is my favorite thing. I wonder if I can get him to say it to you. Say, uh oh! Say, uh oh! Oh. Wow. Comes Maisie. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. Say hi, baby. Baby. Yeah, there's a baby. Is that Maisie? And we're going to Disney uh, this week. I am so excited. So I need to prep for that and lots of fun work stuff this week. So I'm gonna go prep and do things for the fun week that we have planned. Um, so you guys have that to look forward to. A Disneyland day, hello, how fun. I'm gonna say goodnight to you now. Tell me your New Year's resolutions, please, and your goals and aspirations for this year so that I can encourage you guys throughout the year and read your comments and say, oh my gosh, Emily wants to start a business this year. How's that going, Emily? Suzanne wants to open an animal shelter. How's that going, Suzanne? Lisa is hoping to get pregnant this year. Lisa, I hope your journey is going well. And I'm so happy for you and I'm sending you pregnant positivity vibes. I wanna do that for you guys. So uh, please tell me your New Year's resolutions in the comments below. I love y'all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.